dear students welcome in this math class uh, in this video we'll discuss about one extra question and this is very important question and taken from class 10 chapter 9 and uh, the question is the angle of elevation of an aeroplane from a point on the ground is a 60 degree right okay after a flight of 30 seconds the angle of elevation changes to 30 degree if the plane is flying at a constant height of 3600 root 3 meter find the speed of the plane in kilometer per hour okay so let's understand the question first line is the angle of elevation of a, of an aeroplane from a point on the ground is a 60 degree okay suppose this is aeroplane right and this is a point on the ground this is point on the ground so here see uh, this is point on the ground which is point c and this is point a and aeroplane is at point b right so here you can see it is given that suppose b point is here right okay so it is said that the angle of elevation from this point c is a 60 degree so from c point if you see this aeroplane this is ray of sight okay and this is horizontal so this angle is given to you 60 degree now next line is after a flight of 30 second the angle of elevation changes to 30 degree so after 30 seconds suppose this aeroplane reached at point this d point okay so after 30 second he has reached at point d suppose this is point d now the angle of elevation of this d point from the point c is now changes to 30 degree so if you see d point from point c then your ray of sight will be this and this is your horizontal so this angle is changes to 30 degree now right okay so uh, here you can draw this height and it is said that the aeroplane is flying at a constant height constant height 3600 root 3 it means this height de you can say 3600 root 3 meter or you can say ab also 3600 root 3 meter so height of the aeroplane from the ground point is 36 meter constant height it is okay height is not getting changed okay and bd distance it has traveled in 30 second earlier it was on point b after 30 second it was on point d so angle also changes from 60 degree to 30 degree so we need to find out the speed of the plane in kilometer per hour okay first of all let's find out the speed of the aeroplane so what we do this uh, for bd distance we have the time time we have 30 second for traveling bd distance so our motive is to find the distance bd okay or bd you can say or ae you can say these both are equal so our motive is to find the distance ae because we know for ae it has taken 30 second time is there with us for ae distance we will find out and then we know speed is equal to distance over time so we have time already we will find out ae distance that what will be the distance ae whatever will be the distance ae will come we'll divide that distance with 30 we get the speed so okay we know distance over time is speed so let's find out ae distance how to find out ae and it is also very simple how to find out ae so in a big right angle triangle c d e see here in a right angle triangle c d e you have d e distance you can find out c e if you have d e distance d e distance is this you can find out c e distance okay in small right angle triangle a b c you have a b distance this you can find out a c a c can be found out okay now if c e minus a c you will do c e minus a c you will get a e only again see c e minus a c is equal to a e so you can minus these you will get the answer that is a e distance so this way we will find out the distance a e then we'll divide the distance a e by time we get the speed so uh, let b is the initial position of the aeroplane c is point of observation angle bca is 60 degree and after 30 second let position of plane is at point d and angle dce this is dce that is 30 degree now and here the heights ab is equal to de is equal to 3600 root 3 meter given 
सो इन बिग राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल ए डी ई और सॉरी सी डी ई विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी ई ओके सो सी डी ई सी ई विल राइट इन द न्यूमिनेटर ओवर डी ई दैट इज डिनोमिनेटर इज इक्वल टू बेस ओवर परपेंडिकुलर दैट इज कॉट थर्टी राइट सो सी ई वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट एंड वट इज डी ई वैल्यू थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू कॉट थर्टी इज रूट थ्री ओनली सो फ्रॉम हेयर सी ई इज थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री इज थ्री तो थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री इज वन जीरो एट हंड्रेड और यू कैन से टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड मीटर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सी दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ सिमिलरली वील फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सी ऑल्सो इन स्मॉल राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो राइट हेयर इन राइट एंगल्ड ट्राई एंगल सी ए बी इन सी ए बी वॉट वी डू ए सी वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट ए सी ओवर ए बी ए बी इज गिवेन टू अस सो बी ओवर पी अगेन कॉट सिक्सटी राइट सो ए सी वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट ए बी इज थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन बाई रूट थ्री राइट बिकॉज कॉट सिक्सटी इज वन बाई रूट थ्री क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो ए सी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड रूट थ्री ओवर रूट थ्री सो दिस इज कट सो थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड ए सी विल कम सो नाउ वील सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस ओके सो विल राइट हेयर डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस ए ई इज इक्वल टू सी ई माइनस ए सी सो वट इज सी ई हेयर टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड माइनस थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड so this is 7200 meter will come distance ae so time taken to travel ae time to travel ae so that is 30 second right it is given to us so speed will automatically be we know that distance over time so distance is 30 uh, 7200 over 30 so cut cut uh, this is uh, 3 to the or 24 okay 240 okay so our speed is 240 meter per second so dear students it is asked that we need to find out the speed in kilometer per hour. so we need to multiply by 18 over 5 right so you can say why 18 over 5 i can tell you this also so i tell you see here uh, first i am multiplying uh, this by 18 over 5 and it will be kilometer per hour So five ones are five. Here it will be uh, five four four is a twenty and five eight is a. So forty eight into eighteen is eight sixty four kilometer per hour will be the answer. Okay. So here uh, the speed in kilometer per hour is eight sixty four kilometer per hour. So I tell you why it is multiplied by eighteen by five. So meter per second. See here meter per second. So we know how to change meter into kilometer. Okay, that will be divided by thousand, and here uh, second into r. So in one hour, thirty six hundred seconds are there. So we need to divide by thirty six hundred. So here this over thirty six hundred, that thirty six hundred will go up. So if you cut these, it will come eighteen over five only. So this way we can find why we have multiplied by eighteen over five. So this is our answer. Thanks for watching.